what you did, obviously, and didn't do. How do you make sure that happens? Yeah, I think first and foremost, uh, aside from you know, the playoffs that's going on, which is minor compared to just taking place down to Santa Fe, I mean, I think our, our prayers go out to the, the victims and the families having to, having to deal with um, that situation. You know, and we have a lot of fans who put their notes to come out and support us night in and night out, so this is very minor compared to what those people there are doing. I know you're much good. younger than that, but what does it make you think about? It? It's tough, man. It's, it's it's scary that that's becoming a norm here, and uh, we, we got to do something about it. Cause, uh, yeah, I, I can't imagine something like that taking place uh, with, with my kids. That's the first thing you probably did all the time. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Back to basketball. You saying? You guys knew you needed to up your game uh, for these guys, but it didn't happen in game one. You could make sure it happens in game three, like it did game two. Uh, go out there and try to execute. Um, you know, follow our game plan, try to execute, get stops, get out in transition, try to make sure we score more points than them. Was it a matter of just being more focused? No, I think we were focused in game one. We just made mistakes. You know, it happened. We didn't communicate as well. Uh, the ball didn't go in as many times when we shot it. You know, so that happened. I know y'all have been really good on the road, but is Oracle one of the couple of places to play? Uh, it, it is. It is. It's fun. It's fun to play. Uh, you know, our team, you know, we sort of embraced that whole road thing all season long. And, uh, I'm sure it's going to be loud and exciting and all that stuff. But, you know, Utah is a tough place to play, too, and we, we went there. Mike is you mentioned many times it's critical to have a short memory. How difficult is that? Or is it easier than done? How do you look at that in game, all that sort of thing? Oh, uh, it's not difficult. I feel like game two is like a week ago now. You know what I mean? That's how it is in the playoffs. You know, uh, I heard somebody say, like, when you lose a game in the playoffs, you feel like you're never going to win again. And you win, you feel like you're never going to lose again. I mean, so we, we've done a great job all year staying even field. You know, we try not to get too high, we try not to get too low. Chris, when, when you match up with uh, Chris, uh, with Chris, with Steph, how, how much do you have to kind of keep it in your mind to have to close out further than you would against other great players, great scorers? But with him, it's 27 feet, 28 feet to uh, contest. Uh, I don't know. It's defense. But there's obviously different game plans for different opponents. Was that something you guys did well last game? Or? He wasn't getting the real open looks just by going further out. I, see uh, I don't know. You got to close out on Clay. You got to close out on uh, KD. Um, I don't know you got shooters in this league. Obviously, uh, you can pull up off the building and all that stuff. You just, just sort of know what to do. The range doesn't factor in. Uh, you want me to say, you know what I mean? I just say, you know, I don't you know, because I mean? you've different. seen all the film and I didn't study it, but it just seemed like that was something you guys did very well. Um, it's not just giving him the goals that he gets so regularly. Yeah, but if you watch all the other games he played this year, you know what I mean? Like, you know going into the game, who shoots where, where you close out to. I mean, yeah, like we got different game plans for different guys. You know, uh, this guy you'll close out to, um, you'll close out on KD the same way. Chris, when you have a game like the other night where so many guys are able to contribute on offense, how much fun is it being out on the floor like, in a game like that? Um, it's cool. You know, I'm, we've had a number of games like that all season long. Uh, I guess it just gets highlighted a little more during the playoffs. But uh, we we played this way. You know, we got stops, got out in transition, moved the ball, guys made shots. Um, and that's the way we play. Chris, you, uh, you and James... It's team building stuff the last summer. Mm -hmm. you know, Vegas, Summer League, New League, and the Bahamas trip. I, I know it's a while back, but I mean, how critical was that to build the foundation to what you, you do now for chemistry and it's, communication? It's very critical. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you can tell the teams that really enjoy the game around the table. You know what I mean? I, I've been on those teams where you, you sort of just going through the motions or whatever, but uh, you, you can see it with us. Uh, uh, there's genuine relationships, and it, it means a lot. You know, when something happens in the game, you know if a guy really got your back. You know what I mean? If he mean it or if he's just doing it, so y'all talk about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, 
you know, we we built that foundation and we have it, and now we just got to hoop. What's one of the keys to replicating the formula that we're going to Um, get stops, uh, push it in transition, and, and play. And just hoop the way we've been doing all year. You know what I mean? Like this, they know what we're going to do, we know what they're going to do, and we just got to make sure we score more points than Chris, do you have any advice or encouragement to a teammate like Luke, you know, who's you know, struggling for the shoulder? Uh, I don't worry about Luke. Um, like Luke is my guy, you know what I mean? You now, uh, his shoulder and stuff like that, that's tough. But uh, I'm I'm not worried about it. Luke is mentally strong, tough guy, whatever he said. He's going to be ready for game three. Last question. Chris, Mike said that you were dealing with a little bit of uh, what's soon as before game two. Are you feeling good going on? Yeah, I'm all right.